Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, August 6th, 2022. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, Spice Girl and Lorraine. How are you guys doing? We have a couple shimmerettes on here already. So if you're new to this channel, the shimmerettes are people who love shimmer spray. And this is what shimmer spray is. I'll show you more about that at the end. But that's my favorite, favorite thing. And pretty much every card I make gets shimmer spray. So I will tell you how to make that at the very end. How are you guys doing today? It's kind of a gloomy day here. It's kind of cloudy, overcast, super, super hot. Um, I wish I could have the day off and stay home and stamp all day. But unfortunately, I have to go to work. So um, that's why I'm on early. So we're not doing date night with Lisa. We're doing lunch date with Lisa. So, um, hopefully a bunch of you guys will remember to come on early because I know you guys expect me at seven o'clock, but, um, we're doing an early one today because I got to go to work in a little bit. So we just have Debbie and Lorraine on what, but there's a bunch of people watching. So, um, if you're watching, say hello and, uh, we'll get started in just a second. This is the card we're making actually five of these. So we're going to do five quick cards. The paper does all the work for this one. You don't have to do much of anything. And this is one of my favorite things to do with the designer paper because a lot of the packs have paper that comes like this. So you get the pattern on one side, the pattern on the other side, and you just cut it down the middle and then slice it into pieces for card fronts. So let me show you this paper real quick. This is the stamp set that we're using, Hello Harvest. Um, I'm not using much of it, just the words and the leaf. So um, I wanted to do kind of a fall card because I'm, I'm a little bit over this heat right now and I'm wanting some cooler weather. I don't think I said this is Lisa Freeman, did I? It's Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com. Hello, hello, hello. Everybody's on here now. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Barb. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Alex. I'll see you in a little bit at work. Hey, Julie. Hey, bling bling. That's Jilly Jilly, I think. Minda. Jana Marie. Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Christine. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Ruby. Hey, everybody. All right. So we have a bunch of people on now. Yay. Everybody remembered. All right. So this is the stamp set we're using. Hello, Harvest. And I've been wanting to use this set for a little while now because um, I love fall. love the fall colors. And I did that leaf card the other day, which was so beautiful with the um, baby wipe technique. And I wanted to do another fall card and I saw this paper and I had to do this paper. So it's kind of fall, but also, well, it is fall because these are mums, I think, and mums come out in the fall. So let me show you this paper. So this is the Rustic Harvest paper. This is the piece that we're gonna be using. And it's also got a ton more in here that's absolutely gorgeous. Let me know if you guys are hearing me good because um, I don't know what happened in the last video. It was a little bit choppy. So we've got this one, the pumpkin one, and you know the backs are, oh, that's really pretty. I like that. I haven't even looked at it yet. <laughs> I was just looking for that one piece. Um, we've got the squash piece, which is pretty. Oh, it's black and white. Oh, all of them are black and white on the back. I didn't even notice that. That piece is really pretty. I love it. And then there's a green one in here, if I can get it out. And that one is like that. This paper is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is the piece we're gonna be doing today. And I've already cut mine up, but I'm gonna show you how to cut it because it's super easy. So I'm gonna do that first. So if you're just tuning in, this is the card we're making and we're doing five of them. Oh good, uh, that's good. Everybody can hear me and you can see me. Okay, I'm praying, praying that it doesn't mess up today. I don't know what happened because most people said it was fine last time and then the replay was choppy. All right, so you're gonna start with this 12 by 12 paper and we're gonna cut it right in half at six inches. So I do my paper cutter upside down. I hope you can see that. So we're cutting it at, let me see, I'll do it this way. I think you can see the bottom. So there's six inches and we're just gonna cut it in half. That's the easiest way to start. 
So then you have two pieces and let me see if I can cut two at the same time. Are these, yeah, these are exactly this, mm, for the butterflies in a different place. I'll just do them separate. All right, so then what I did is I took off um, a quarter of an inch. So I cut it at five and a qu three quarters. So just one quarter of an inch because I wanted to make sure I didn't cut the butterflies. So cut off just a teeny strip and that saves our butterflies. You might be able to squeeze just a teensy bit more off there. And then I turned it around and I did it at five and a quarter. So that's gonna cut off a little bit of the grassy area or the, um, the stems of the flowers. And you can save that if you wanna do something else. I didn't save that. All right, so now we've got five and a quarter wide and we're gonna do four inches, uh, each one four inches. So there's one. And two and three so you've got three here and then if you do the exact same thing on the other piece you'll have three more so you'll have six cards total I've already made one of mine so I've got five left so that's why we're making five cards because I have five pieces left of everything all right so let me show you what you need you're gonna need five pieces of Mary Merlot at five and a half by eight and a half inches Oh, I forgot to tell you too. Don't forget if you order um, for the next two weeks till the 15th, well actually that's only like nine more days, um, you're gonna get a card kit for three of these cards. And also don't forget we've got celebrations still till the end of the month, but everything is while supplies last. So if you want anything in here, make sure you get it as soon as possible. There are some extra things that were added and they're on the website, the Stampin' Up! website. Um, and don't forget, if you want to sign up this month and get the starter kit, there's a great deal going on. You get this gorgeous planner here, which I love. I'm saving mine till January because I already have one right now. So mine's going to start the first of the year, so I'm saving it. But it's a great organizer planner. You get a stamp set that goes with it, and you get three notebooks from Stampin' Up! to just keep notes in, and they're just clear paper. And you can doodle or whatever you want to do in there. And that's in addition to the $125 in product that um, you get. So just wanted to throw that in there real quick. All right, so five of these. And then you need five pieces of white. Five and a quarter by four. And five pieces. These are the five I have left over. Five and a quarter by four. This white is for the inside of the card, which is that I didn't even show you um let me see if I can stick that down there and then you need five of these little white pieces for the words and five pieces of ribbon and this ribbon is the natural finish ribbon I think it's about almost an inch maybe it's like seven eighths okay seven eighths of an inch that's the item number right there one five nine zero five one love it love it love it and I think this, this one is in the big catalog. And the Rustic Harvest is in the holiday catalog. Okay, so take a screenshot of that. And let me read some um, comments. My goodness, we have a lot of people on here. Hello, 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 everybody. Hot, everybody's saying it's hot. Yes, it is hot here too. Um, I'm so glad you guys can hear and see me. Uh-oh, Marcia says it's blurry. Okay. That's the only one. Yeah, I always do my trimmer upside down <laughs> because I can't see that far away. So I like to have it like right in front of me where the numbers are. So I want, that's why I do it upside down. Hey, Carmen, you got me live today. Yay. Um, Saturday morning is way sleepy. <laughs> I got to tell you something funny because guess what happened this morning? Um, I worked last night and we did end up getting out pretty early. We got out right about 10 o'clock. And, uh, so I was going to get up early and do a bunch of stuff this morning and that didn't happen. I didn't set my alarm or anything. I didn't wake up till 930. And when I wake up, I always like to stay in bed for just a few minutes and just kind of, you know, get my stuff, uh, you know, awake and stretch a little bit and check my email. And, you know, I don't like to just pop right out of bed. So I stayed in bed for about 30 minutes checking my email and stuff. And all of a sudden I went, 
oh my gosh, I got to do my video at noon. And I totally forgot. And so I jump out of bed and then I'm like, okay, I got to eat some breakfast because I was hungry. And uh, so I ate my breakfast and it's 1030 and I'm thinking, okay, I try to get in here to set up everything by uh, 30 minutes before my video. So I said, I have one hour to come up with a card and uh, get everything cut and ready and all that stuff. So I did this in about 45 minutes. <laughs> That's why it's so easy. <laughs> so we're doing easy card today. I was going to do a different card and I had one in, in mind that I was going to do, but I'm like, I just don't have time to do that one. So, all right. So this is what we're doing. Hey, Beth, how are you doing this morning? So we're just going to set this aside for right this minute because we don't need these. We're going to stamp the inside part and the words. And I don't even think we need scrap paper today. All right. So let me say hello. What does DSP is that? It's Rustic Harvest. It's in the um, Holiday Mini. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, all right. I think I got everybody. Hey, Terry. Hey, Nancy. Everybody's hot. It is super hot here, yes. For a whole piece of 12 by 12, yes, you do get um, six cards. So we just cut it a minute ago. So go back, watch the replay, and you can see exactly how to cut it all. So we've got five pieces here. These are for the inside. So what I'm gonna do for the inside is stamp the leaf. And this is Mossy Meadow. This is my old one. I can't find my new one. I have, my stamp room is literally like a hot mess disaster. I can't find anything. So I'm digging through all of my bins of, I have all these, uh, you know, boxes that I keep everything in, the Sterlite clear containers. And I have probably 20 in there that are full of card projects that I just haven't had time to finish from, you know, the last couple months. And it's just crazy. And all the ink pads are in those boxes and the stamp sets are in there. Everything's in there. So I have to search each box to figure out where my ink pads and stuff are every time I do a video. So I really need to go through and clean them, but I've just been so busy. I am taking a couple days off this week though. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. It's 12 minutes after. And first thing we're gonna do is stamp the inside of the card with the leaf. So this is Mossy Meadow, and I'm just gonna stamp it three times. So I'm doing the first, second, third generation, so you get dark, medium, and light. So that's for each one. So dark, medium, light. I love this technique with um, stamping, especially if you have a juicy pad, it works great. So we're making five cards today. And I guess you guys can tell I won't be on for date night tonight because I'm working. And um, all right, so that's all you need. And you can do that on the envelope too, whatever you want. So that's the inside. Then we're gonna stamp our words. And then all we're gonna do is put it together. So this, you could make a pile of these and you get six from each sheet. So that's 12 in a pack of this card you could do. This is Mary Merlot. So we're just gonna stamp our words and hopefully I'll get them straight. Although I did bring extras if I mess up. And I love the font of that. So pretty. So that was me running around crazy this morning. My kitchen is a disaster because, um, you know, usually I'm one of those people that if I cook or something, I clean it up right when I finish. But I, I don't know why I've just been running around and doing stuff. And I'm like, oh, I'll just clean it up when I get back. And so that's been going on for like three days now. So I have dishes piled up in the sink, on the counter, everywhere. And then I made breakfast this morning. And of course, I didn't have time to clean it up because I had to do this video. So if you saw my kitchen, you'd be like, man, Lisa's like the biggest slob on the planet. You'd think I look like a hoarder in my kitchen or something, but <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> all right, so we're done stamping. So now what we're going to do is put all this together. So we've got, let's do the inside first. So we've got all the white pieces, flip them over. We're going to use our green glue and... Just put a bunch of glue on here. And this goes on the inside. 
So we had a great night at work last night. It was super slow and we had two really fast doctors, which makes a huge difference because sometimes even if it's slow and the doctors are slow, we still get out late, but we got out like right on time, which was nice. And I'm hoping the doctors move fast tonight. And we had pretty nice patients except for a couple. <laughs> a couple of crazy people came in. I don't have any jokes for you guys today. I forgot to get one. All right, so there we go. Anybody got a joke? <laughs> oh, oh, Debbie, how's your husband doing? Is he any better? Is he still in the hospital or he's home? Let's see. I'll be praying for him too. I think we could all use a prayer. Now and then, too. Everything that's going on right now is crazy. But definitely Debbie's husband needs some prayers. So everybody pray for him. All right. So to get all your green glue on here, try not to get it on your fingers. And Debbie, did you decide which spice you're going to be or was it salt and pepper? I remember last time you said salt and pepper. How many glimmerettes or shimmerettes are on here? Sorry. Shimmerettes. We have a lot of shimmerettes on this um, surgery. We'll fix him and he's home. Oh, good. Well, that's good. Um, okay. How many shimmerettes are watching? Debbie gave us that name last week. So if you like shimmer spray, then you're a shimmerette. You can join the club. Hey, Colette, Colette. I had somebody come into work the other day who had a name like yours, the same first and last name, and I started laughing. 71, all right. All right, so then we're gonna put this piece on the front. And that's a cute little piece for the back. Make sure you get your glue pretty close to the edge. Oops, I think I just got it on the front of my car, just a little bit. Okay. Isn't this like the easiest card ever? And adding that shimmer spray really makes it. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but it shows up really well on the black. I need to make some more. I'm almost getting empty. All right, one down. Not all the way, but almost. This one's getting almost empty. All right, oops, oh. I was using my other paper cutter in my stamp room and I need to change the blade because all these pieces right here that I cut were kind of jaggedy. So I had to take the fingernail file and file the edges down. So if you ever do that and you have, um, your paper cutter's really getting kind of, oops, bad, just take a fingernail file and just shave the edges a little bit and it'll smooth it out. So you don't have that jaggedy edge. I still do just a little bit, but you can kind of take your fingernail and go along there. Yes, you guys can pop these out quick as I'll get out. Oh, Lorraine named us. I thought you did, Debbie. Okay, so Lorraine called us the Shimmerettes. Or we could just all be the Spice Girls. <laughs> we could be the Spicy Shimmerettes. <laughs> Uh, oh, Coral is in Smoky Klamath Falls, Oregon. Oh, we have another Oregon girl. Everybody lives in Oregon except me. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to take a road trip there one day and hook up with all you girls and go to, to Tillamook. Well, now I'm on day six of my keto diet, and I'm doing really well. I haven't checked to see if I've lost any weight or anything yet, but I haven't cheated so I've been really good. I did buy these little um, things that you can use to see if you're in ketosis, but I haven't tried it yet. I think you gotta pee on them. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> okay, so now we have all these pieces of ribbon. I already did most of them ahead of time. So I just got that little fringe at the end. So I saved one to show you. So this is um, about three and a half inches long. And all you do is just cut it and then just pull it and it just frays. So you just do it, you know, maybe like a 
quarter of an inch and you'll have all this hanging stuff and you just take your scissors, not these scissors, my snips and just snip it so you get that. And then do the same thing to the other end. Just pull it with your fingernail and snip off the end. So there you go. So you got a bunch of these and I put them on with, I'm not sure, yeah, I don't wanna put glue, the liquid glue, because I think it would soak through. So I used tear tape to put it down because I wanted to make sure that it didn't come off. So I'm just gonna go down about here and I'm gonna put two pieces of tear tape on each one to hold it. So I'll do that first and then go back and put it on. But you can kind of put it wherever you want to. I was gonna do a bow and then I kind of changed my mind and I said, no, I kind of want something just plain because I didn't want to do it too high. So, and this this ribbon fell um, fit the words perfect. So that's another reason. I wanted something in back of the words that looked good. That might be too long. And you guys know this tear tape. You don't need scissors with it. That's why it's called tear tape. Every time I use this in class, everybody wants to get the scissors out and cut it. And I'm like, you don't need to cut it. You just use your fingernail and it just rips perfectly. So just take your fingernail and it just rips just like, um, what is that, masking tape. So just lay it down. I don't want it all the way to the end because that would be too long. Okay, so now we got two pieces on each of those. And you can either take your take your pick tool, that works great for getting this off, or a fingernail. I always try to do mine in the um, middle. And let me see. Sometimes your fingernail works better, but sometimes it's easy just to do it. And then just put this down right where you have that tape. And it just goes almost to each end, but not quite. Give it a good press and do that again. And take those off and then put another one down. And I think that will hold it really well. And then we'll do these. These are kind of close together. See how easy that makes them come off? You can use your fingernails, but the key is always do it like from the side instead of trying to get it at the end. Um, I always have people that wanna just get it at the end and then it doesn't come off because it always wants to take the whole thing with it. So if you try to peel it like from the end, it's, it's not as easy as from the side. So there you go. Boom, boom. All right, so these are coming along nicely. That's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. And one more. If you guys don't have a take your pick tool, you don't even know what you're missing because this is my probably most used, besides the glue, I use this the most of anything that I have. All right, last one. All right, so we've got all the ribbon down. Now we're gonna put the words on with dimensionals. And let me read a few comments while I'm doing that. Let's see. Oh, Candy, you're from Oregon, too. A town called Irrigan. So you're from Irrigan, Oregon. <laughs> That's funny. Irrigan, Oregon. Who comes up with these names? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, somebody's on a lake. I was on the lake last weekend having a ball. That was the most fun ever. All right, I've got to trim some of these because I'm running out. Make sure you guys use all your dimensionals. You don't want to waste all these on the edge because they work just as good as all the rest. How are we doing on time? 2, 12, 12 minutes. We're doing good. I got three minutes and I'm almost done. We just got to do this and then some pearls and some shimmer. Oops. So we're blinging it up. And you don't even have to do extra bling. If you just wanted to, you know, make them even more simple, you could. Um, 
I like to always add a little bit of bling to mine though. All right, so these words fit in the middle of each of my ribbons, just like that. And if you wanted to, you could um, take your scissors and kind of go like this on the edges and make it a little bit more distressed looking. You know how that works. Just take your scissors and zhuzh up the edges. I don't know who says that. Somebody I know says zhuzh. I think it's a cooking person, like Rachel Ray or something. I don't know, I don't remember. Okay. I'm only gonna do that to that one. <laughs> that takes too much time. All right, here we go. Two more. Then I'm gonna get my pearls. For some reason I have like 20 things of open pearls because again, they're all in my bins all over my stamp room. And instead of just searching for them, I just grab a new pack every time. So I have all these pearls that are open. I need to just get organized, but I've got classes coming up Tuesday and Wednesday that I'm not ready for yet. So I gotta work on that. All right, so we've got our pearls. I'm gonna put a big one in the middle of the, the Merlot flowers. Well, a medium one, not big. So there goes that one. And then I'm gonna put, oops, I got some sticky still on there. Some goo. Okay. And then little ones around the edge. So we'll just stick some little ones wherever you want. I like to do three. So we've got one on the flower and then just three out in the black area. So one medium and three little. And you could actually put one on the butterfly if you wanted to. And each, the top of each of these is just slightly different. My goo is coming undone today. I'll put, oops, one here. And then we're gonna spritz all these with some shimmer. And they're gonna be gorgeous. But really this paper is so gorgeous. It's hard to make an ugly card with this paper. I love it. Anytime Stampin' Up! gives us this paper that has the, the double side to it, you know, where you have the one side is a picture and the other side is the picture, I always like to do these kind of cards because they're so, oops, they're so easy and you can just whip them out so fast. Oh, that's where I got glue on the card. I have to get that off. Oops. Come on. I have a, a runner. He's running away. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna spray, and hopefully, let me see, 28 minutes. Oh, I just hit 16 minutes, so I'm a little bit slow today. All right, there we go. So now we're gonna spray. So let me get some scrap paper. All right, so. If you do not have the shimmer spray, what I do is I fill up a spray bottle. You can get these at the Dollar Tree or Target, wherever you want, Walmart. Fill it up with 70% alcohol. So about, I fill it up to about that high with the alcohol that's 70%, which is this one. And then, um, see how it's 70% right there? You don't want to use any other percentage because it clogs it up. So if you use 91, it'll clog up. And then you take your shimmer paint, and I did add this link to the video. So any of you guys who are searching for this, I found it three places online. So I put the link in my description box under the video. So you look under, after the video is done, it'll be in the description box um, below. And all you do is just shake this up and you just pour it in like maybe for about a second. Um, shake it up and test it. Test it on a dark sheet of paper and you'll be able to tell um, what it looks like best. And if it's not shimmery enough for you, you can always add a little bit more, but don't put too much. This little jar should last you at least a year, if not more. I use it every day and in all my classes, and I still haven't finished this jar. Um, and I know I've had this at least a year. So it'll last you a long time. And it's only like $5. Stampin' Up! used to sell it. I'm hoping they'll bring it back, but uh, 
until they do, we're just gonna have to get it somewhere else, so. All right, so give it about three squirts each. Shake each time. That one only needed two, it already had some on there. These are good, oh, I love it. You can really see it on the um, black. So here we go, let me get that out of the way. So here we go, all of our cards. Aren't they beautiful? I love it. And you can see that shimmer really good on here. Love it, love it, love it. Did perfect pearls work? I don't know what perfect pearls are. Did somebody try that? Is that a new thing I don't know about? Um, oh, did somebody say something about their card curls up or something? If you glue your card down to the edge, like put the glue right up on the edge, it won't curl up. Occasionally, if you just glue like in the center, it will, but all you do is just lift the corners and put a little glue dot there or a little bit more glue. So it does, see how this is still a little bit um, jagged from my paper cutter? I do have a guillotine one um, that I do for like massive cutting, but if I'm just making like one or two cards, I just use my little sliding one and it, my other one needs a new blade. So it's making it a little shreddy. But that shimmer really shows up well on this card. Love it. You can, oh, you can see this one really good in the background. Love it, love it. Um, perfect pearls and 70% alcohol. I don't know what perfect pearls are. I've never heard of that. Okay, hey, wait a minute. Coral and Debbie, do not go get Tillamook ice cream without me. I can't even have ice cream for the next few months because I'm going to do Tillamook. I mean, I'm going to do Tillamook. I'm going to do keto. Now I'm thinking of Tillamook. Um, my daughter's wedding is in two months, and I'm trying to lose weight because I bought a dress when she was supposed to have her wedding like two years ago, and then COVID hit, and uh, I don't think it fits. So I have got to lose some weight. So here you go. Here's the cards for today. I hope you love them. They're super, super quick and easy. Go make yourself some. Here's my sample one, too. Put that on top. And thanks for joining me today for lunch time. And I'll be back Tuesday night. Um, oh, Candy's from Oregon and Irigun. So we have four people from Oregon on here, I think. Let me see. And you guys are all going to go get some ice cream without me. All right, Shimmerette girls. Thanks for joining me today. And <laughs> uh, I love reading the comments. I go back and read all the comments after the video's over. All right. Get your shimmer on today. Make some cards. If it's hot and yucky where you are, it's a good day to stay in and stamp. I will see you back Tuesday. Have a great rest of your weekend. Try not to work too hard like me. And um, don't forget, if you want to order, you can always go right here, stampingwithlisa.com. There's the host code till the 15th, and you'll get that card kit from me in the mail. This one for three cards, three of these. And I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.